What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Rebirth DL channel. So today we're going to do the ARC installation with PSP demo on the PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.63. So what do we need? PSP game, mini or demo? I'll be using lo local Roco demo. Now we're going to be downloading PSV image tools dash UI and install it. I will be using my Windows 64. As for the installation, we're going to connect our PlayStation Vita using QCMA or CMA to get our AID. We're going to run the tool and add an account manually. We're going to select Easy Installers so that we can go ahead and convert our game into ARC. We will patch the PSP game with ARC2. Remember to go to the description and download the ARC and replace it with the one you will get so you can get the cool interface also transfer the patch game and arc to the playstation vita remember the link is in the description remember to check my twitter enjoy gamers so as you can see i already had arc installed so i deleted it so that i can show this example now i want to show you guys that this playstation vita is new i got it for 80 bucks a 32 gigabyte as well so this system is under the official firmware of 3.63 just want to show you guys some proof sorry it took a little bit longer but I wanted to show you guys I wanted to get a PlayStation Vita with that firmware so we're gonna launch the PlayStation Store and we're gonna find a game so I created a, an account just to do this tutorial so we're gonna click search, put demo, and then with our demo, we're gonna search our PSP game or mini, whichever you find. The first one I found was Local Roco. So I'm going to download it and install it. Now that I found my base game, which is Work the Magic, so just be patient we'll see how we make this work so now we go to our PC you can find the source information hack informer it'll give you more information about how to install arc so I recommend to check it out we're gonna get our PSV IMG tool so we're gonna go to download that uh, file I'm gonna be using the win64 install zip so now you will need to have WinRAR so that you can extract this file. It's free, you can search it on Google. So I'm gonna create a folder so I can extract that file. And you can name it whatever you want, it's fine. So now that I extracted, I'm going to go ahead and install the tool. a fairly simple installation so it shouldn't take that long hey as long as I get my homebrew it's okay it can take an hour if it wants right so I'm going to I was running CMA I'm just gonna take it out uh, I prefer uh, QCMA so you can see I launched QCMA going to recognize my database or my files that I have okay so now that I've connected the PlayStation Vita to the PC we're going to do something with contact manager you can see my game is still on their local Roco So now what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to copy from the PlayStation Vita to the PC. So I'm going to copy that local Roco game so that I can have it on my computer. So it shouldn't take long. Good thing it's not that big of a size. 
So it should be fairly quick. Okay, now that I have my game copied to my PC, remember to back it up and save it somewhere else if you want to, just in case. So I'm just gonna double check. And I'm gonna get my AID. So you can see I have another one because I have my fat uh, beta. So the new one, which is test 317 on the date modified. That's the new AID, all those numbers. So then I'm gonna I'm launching the PSV IMG tools. Now as you can see by Team Molecule and um, GUI by Silica and Pina. So now I'm going to go ahead and add an account. You can rename it however you want. I renamed it Gamers Rebirth DL. And my AID would be that random number and information. Just copy. And then you're going to do Control V. So you can paste it. Or you can type it out. So now I'm going to select Add Account. And that's going to give me that it was already registered. So now that we have that information in there, we're going to run our EC installer. I'm going to select Arc and select Install. I'm going to select my profile, which is the Gamer Rebirth DL. And I'm just going to select Choose Account that it's going to say patch it and then you can see that it's the same number for the game and now just patch with arc-2 now your computer is going to do some stuff on the left hand side just let it be it should take like a few moments don't panic if it just stays there blinking just just let it let it ride shouldn't take long and then it, it's, it's going to say something, copying, save data. And then it's going to say ARC 01234. Now just to double check to see if the file was transferred. You can see my game is still in there. Now it's patched, but you can see ARC 01234. But this ARC doesn't have the good, cool user interface. So I'm just going to delete it. Now you're going to download my ARC or the ARC that I have in the description and then just paste it in there. So you'll see it has a little bit more files. So now that we're ready, that we have the patched game and the ARC information, refresh the database for QCMA. I refreshed it like twice just in case. Then I connect in my PlayStation Vita again. You can see the the, the local Roku game is still a normal PSP. But now we're going to connect with the Content Manager, and we're going to copy from the PC to the PlayStation Vita. We're going to copy local Roku from from the PC to the PlayStation Vita. So it shouldn't take that long. Then we're going to copy our Save data from ARC. You can see 317. We copy. I already had it, so I'm just going to overwrite it. After that, let's see if it works. Crossing my fingers. Should I say drop the mic? This is an amazing tool, guys. Let's try it to see if it works. So there you have it guys, ARC-2 for the 3.63, we have proof, let the homebrews begin. I'll be doing more videos on how to install Neo Geo, PlayStation, uh, Super Nintendo, so just stay tuned, I'll try to get them out as soon as possible. Let me know if it worked guys, as always, Game and Rebirth, out. Ooh.